that we got strength and numbers. We already run the streets out here. So we're going to prove once and for all that all these people talk about an East Coast, West Coast war, they like the Judas was to Jesus. They only here to cause confusion. They battling off the of East and West like this is a game. This ain't no game. If this was chess, we'd be yelling checkmate. No peace to her, no wife dies. 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 And they say they wanna get me up. Pull up to my crib, go and me up. Say a lot of shit to go and set me up. All I talk is gonna go and end you up. Pull up and I'm dumping all, yeah, yeah. All I got is killers on call, yeah, yeah. Don't let me go and show you what I got out here. Yeah. Hate me for your head, it's getting bad out here. Yeah. Do it on my own, no one set me up. Hate the killer, but they'll go and set me up. When I see your whole, I see it red now, yeah. Ain't no make a peace, ain't no friends now, yeah. We're finishing up the haircut. I'm here with my barber, Berman. Been cutting my hair for like two years with him already. Um, he's at his new spot. I put the information on the description bar for those of you in the Orlando area or when you travel to Orlando. Hey, hit him up. He's busy, so you better look like a week in advance. Um, so we're doing the skincare video today. And I know, you know, I was talking to him about some things that he does or recommends as a barber, um, you know, to help maintain your skin and everything, especially for us that work out and all that. So, uh, you know, what yeah. was it that you were telling me? So, basically, <clears throat> on a weekly basis, uh, the best way to keep your skin you know, and maintain well yeah. is uh, using the product that I use, Thermologica. Um, a good way to use the Dermalogica product is by using a steam towel or even using a steam machine if you have a steam machine at home to open up the pores so that you can get the products, vitamins into your skin and actually clean out all the So probably stuff. like like what? Like once a week or once every two weeks you would do I that? I like once a week. Okay, once a week. Once a week. Yeah. Um, Try not to use too much of a bar soap and yeah. the skin real dry. Yeah, and those are things that we'll go over when we go over there, uh, but definitely um, maybe next time we'll have to do that here. Yeah, and we'll show do the them. facial. Yeah. 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 Facial. Yeah. Alright guys, we'll see you then. Make sure you make sure you check out my barber, my boy. Rock Thank this. you, brother. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, bro. What up, G Nation? We're back from the barbershop. Welcome to my house. You know, one of my favorite things about this spot is not just the lighting, because we could do a lot of good videos. You guys saw it last time, but it was kind of dark. Um, but anyways, it's daytime, so let me show you. One of my favorite things about this spot for sure is the view. It's chilling, it's quiet. We get to make videos in peace. So this is walking distance from the barber shop. Definitely love that. Now I can just stay fresh all the time. Let's go inside and finish the skincare routine. Damn, all right, now we're in the bathroom. Let's get to business. I swear, when I first started working out, one of the things I was like, damn, you know, I would see it in magazines because back then there was no YouTube, no Instagram, no social media, nothing. You would see all these people making faces and then you would run across people in the gym who've like been working out for 20 years. One thing I always saw was like, they used to have some crazy like lines in their face from like years of lifting. I was like, holy shit. Like, I don't want to look like I'm 50 <laughs> when I'm only like 30. So one thing I always did was took care of my skin and, and made sure I was using good products and, and just wanted to make sure that not only I was looking good physically in the gym, but also taking care of myself. Uh, that's very important if you're trying to get women, if you're trying to move up in career. Without saying anything, how you present yourself is how you show people what you're about, your discipline, your values and all that. So to me, it's very important to always take care of ourselves. So one of the most important aspects of clean skin for us men is definitely having a fresh cut. So you guys saw me come from the barber shop. Um, I've been cutting my hair with Berman for two years. So definitely um, when I get a haircut, I just feel like my skin is like, dude, we just upgraded. So to me, I wanted to show you guys that is the first step. If you're, if you're a man, if you want to take care of yourself, having your beard on point and your hair and everything is definitely the first step because, um, Adam, would you agree? How do you feel when you get a haircut? like a new man like a new man and it's just like I I'm sure you guys who are men are watching this when you get a cut there's nothing like the fresh cut you just feel it so first up fresh cut now I have two things two different ways we're gonna do this I have a daily routine 
and then something I do weekly. The weekly one, usually I do it when I get a haircut. It's a little more extensive, and um, basically it just helps get rid of a lot of the, the toxins on the skin um, and just refresh for the week. Then the daily one just maintains that. Uh, so let's get to it. So now we're gonna start off with the daily routine. Now for the daily routine, this is something usually most of these products I'm gonna use at night. When I wake up, I keep pushing. I don't usually wake up with a dry face, so I'm not gonna put moisturizer, I'm not gonna clean my face because I did it the night before. You also don't wanna overdo it. So let's pretend it's nighttime right now and I'm gonna go to bed. Um, usually what I will do is at night, I have my facial cleanser. I have my facial toner, which is witch hazel my lotion and dark circle defense eye lotion um, to me these are the four like daily things that i have to use um, obviously the facial cleanser would go first wash your face wash your face wash your face step one is the facial cleanser you're going to wash your face after you shower or while you shower so then the next step after the facial cleanser is you're going to do the witch hazel so what this does is it helps remove um, impurities and toxins, you know, the dust, allergens, um, all the things that from the daily that you do. So usually when you use this one, you'll see, um, I'm not going to really do much, but you just dab it on, clean your face. You'll end up seeing that the tissue paper or the cotton ball or the whatever ends up being like dark, even after you wash your face. So that's really, that really helps me get rid of uh, all the extra dirt, especially working out in the dirty gyms and all that. All that equipment, all that dust, um, you know, especially the gym we go to is, is old. That is sheesh. Yeah, that sheesh is old. Like, we walk in there, we got to, like, cleanse our bodies with holy water. Um, then the next step is lotion. You know, I think um, with the facial cleanser, the witch hazel, the most important thing, and the lotion is you want to look for a brand that works for you and something that is not cheap. You don't want to throw on itch on your face that is... Uh, cheap because then that's not really going to help you. So these brands here that I use are just brands that I use. I'm not, you know, I'm just showing you guys. I'm not going to talk about the brand or anything. Uh, but then the facial cleanser, I'll use it at night. Like I said, I, it helps me wake up with a moisturized face. I don't have to throw on anything in the morning. So I usually all this is at night. And then uh, the dark circle defense is uh, the last step. And that I put that on before bed. Um, and this really helps, especially with... <laughs> people who own businesses, people who work out, people who work a lot of hours and your eyes look stressed, you want to make sure that um, you do something for your under eyes because it is a different type of skin. It's more sensitive. So I definitely invested in a good one on that and it's been helping me uh, big time. All right, now for my weekly one, which would be today, um, we're going to do exactly what we do for the daily, but what we're going to add is a black mask, which helps pull um, white heads, black heads, um, all the little things that are just stuck on your skin. And especially after a haircut, doing the black mask to me is amazing because, um, I mean, it just, it makes your face extra soft, extra clear. And with the haircut, you look like, like brand new. And then after the black mask, I will do something a little calmer. Um, so this is an Irish mud mask and this one it does is more it hydrates the skin um, Especially through all the weeks of showering cleaning and everything you want to make sure your face stays hydrated Because at the end of the day a hydrated skin is what's gonna help you stay young if you overdo it You're actually gonna make yourself look worse. So I hydrate my skin after all the haircut the black mask and everything um, Once I finish that I'll, I'll use some hot water dry my face off throw on some lotion, and, uh, and that's it for the week. All right, G-Nation, that is exactly what I do, either for my daily routine or for my weekly. Today was the weekly one. I got my hair cut. Um, and another thing I want to go over is, like, obviously, once in a while we'll break out. Make sure you have uh, kind of like a spot treatment. That will take care of the blemishes quickly. And don't forget, the most important thing other than all of this is your diet. If you're eating sugars, dairy, soda, um, pizza, uh, oils, fats, you're gonna probably have, you know, skin that doesn't look healthy. Pretty much I drink water. I do eat meats, but it's very, very lean meats. Once in a while I'll do some red meats, uh, maybe two or three times a week. You know, my sugar intake is very, very low. Um, and obviously when, my, when I consume fats, it's healthy fats. And that contributes a lot to it. But the biggest thing is, I mainly just drink water. 
I don't, you know, once in a while, you know, I'll splurge a little bit of wine, a little bit of Coke. Uh, but other than that, I make one to two gallons a day of water is what I'm on. Um, I kind of put a little description on the bottom of what I did. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'm gonna sit here, I'll answer them for you guys. Um, you know, exactly whether it has to do with workout or the skincare routine, I don't care, you can ask me. Um, so last week we shot uh, Big Back Day. Now it's a skin video. Next week we'll meet you at the gym again. We got Big Arm Day. Um, you ready for that, Adam? Big ready, bro. He's big ready and I'm big motivated. Uh, make sure you know you check those videos out get caught up with us G Nation we're back This is the third video of consistency out of many more to come. We're working on so many things for you guys Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my skincare routine I hope you try it out and when you do try it out get to me. Let me know what you think you see the results Get products that work for you get products that are good Have that healthy diet and you'll see the results you want be able to take care of yourself and attract good things into your life because when you look good, you feel good. This is G Nation. We out. <laughs>